were chilling and I was like, dang, it's so nice outside. She kept saying, yeah, it is. I was like, wow. <laughs> Damn, we ain't got nothing to do. It was so nice. Yeah, it, it really was nice. Um, um, yes, yeah, so I think it was probably like 70 something degrees. Or close to seventy. No, it was. Days. It was over seventy. Okay. Yeah. And um, and to those who um, who celebrated Mother's Day without a mom, I still hope that you enjoyed it and that mm-hmm. you remember the good times that you had um, with your mom and not you know think about the bad stuff. Because I mean, we all had bad memories, but hopefully the good outweighed the bad. Um, so y'all know this was kind of like my mom's weekend because on Friday. It was the third year anniversary of her death. Um, and I was okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I was kind of sad a little bit. But then I had a training class. And then I had to snap out of it. Because I'm just like, I got to really teach them. And mm-hmm. I don't want to be oh, oh, dry and depressed. Right. And, yeah. But they did. It was like something. Like, what is wrong? Like, you are. And I, and I happened to tell them, you know, what was going on. And then... Um, I was talking to my friend Tashin, and um, he was just, uh, you know, he's like, um, you know, we should go to your mom's uh, thing. And I really wasn't thinking about it, but I was like, you know what, yeah, let's go, let's go, like, just go. And and surprisingly, I was okay. I thought I would be crying and sad, and I wasn't sad or anything. I just mm-hmm. didn't feel it. And, and the first thing... I was trying to find the, the damn uh, headstone. I mm-hmm. was like, I remember we were over here. Mm-hmm. I, I remember that. Because I said, I remember the houses in the background. Mm-hmm. And But remember, it was a whole bunch of dirt and mud and everything over there. Um, but it's a bunch of headstones over there now. Mm-hmm. And I, happened to, I, I found it. It took us a couple of minutes, but I found it. I was like, yeah, hey, I think I'm getting close. I got a feeling I'm getting close. And bam, it was right there. Her tombstone was right there. Um, and I, we happened to look. The person who was buried next to her, he passed the day after her. Mm. And then, like, we went down the road, Mikkel. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of like, I don't want to say it like this, but it was kind of like, I think in, like, COVID. Like, these are all the people who passed yeah, from COVID yeah, in that area. Yeah, yeah. Like, all the dates were, like, the same. 2020, some were April. Then you got to May. Then you got to June, mm-hmm. July. Like, they were just, like, all in that area. Um, you know, it was kind of sad to see that. Because you, like, you, you you really don't think, like, you know about the mm-hmm. depths. But when you actually see those headstones, you're just like, oh, my God. Like, so I'm not the only one. What is that about here? Like I'm not the only I'm not the only one. Right. But it was it, it was just nice because so many people were coming in and you know with their families and with their uh, flowers and everything like that, um, dropping stuff off. So it was it was it was good to be there. Um, of course, now I want to go back because it, it wasn't such a bad experience for me at all. I, I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be different. But then the sun was out. It was just a beautiful day. (laughs) Like, it was just so beautiful. Um, What I didn't like was the traffic. Just driving to get out there, Mikael. Yeah, Mother's Day traffic is a mess. Yeah, and people don't know how to drive. People throwing guts of uh, their weed and stuff out the window. People just making turns out of nowhere. Mother's Day traffic is a mess. They see you swerving, trying to get into a lane. Here you come trying to drive up a little faster. Like, it was horrible yesterday. And I was just glad to be back in the house. Mm. I was glad to be back yeah. in the house. How was your uh, your Mother's Day week? Well, it was great. Um, I went. I got my mom. I was early. I, listen, for these past year a year or two, I've been doing things early. <laughs> <laughs> things early. So, cause usually on Sundays I'd be trying to rush to go out and get shit, and then go home out and get ready for church, and then. So, mm-hmm. my mom. Um, the good thing, my mom and dad, they went to Atlantic City. Okay. So I was like, good. Now I got to get over. Yeah, City. they went to Atlantic City for the weekend. So I was like, good. So um, the day before, I had got a card. Now listen, my mom is not one of those people that she doesn't. She's not a gift person. Right. You know, she's more so a money person, which makes it easy for me. Just go get money out the bank and put it in the card and give it to her. So that's what I did. I gave her a lot of money. And I'm broke. Um, so <laughs> I gave her a lot of money. And then 
Sunday after church, I went to go get some flowers. And luckily, the stores were still, you know, people be in the buying flowers at the last damn minute. Mm -hmm. Everybody was in there, <laughs> you know. But anyway, like, yeah. I usually do it the day before, like I said. But because my mom and dad was in Atlantic City, I was like, okay, well, I got another day to do it. So um, I did that. And then when I got to my mom to give her this stuff, I was going to take a picture of her and post it on Facebook. Not Facebook. Post it with her. You know, with her gift and stuff. But she looked at a mess. <laughs> her hair wasn't turning enough. And she wouldn't have wanted me to put her on social media like that. Mm -hmm. But she was happy. And she put the roses. Because I got all these roses. And she put them. Well, actually, the thing that I bought, which was really nice. I bought these flowers. And it already came in a the vase base. and all that. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. And so she put that on the table, her dining room table. It was just, everything was just really, really nice. And then my sister had came over with, of course, because my sister does gifts. Um... She came over with something in a Fendi box, so. <laughs> okay. So, she bought my mom gifts so that she can turn around and, and borrow so she can wear it. Oh, she's so going return? <laughs> so like, no, no, she's not returning. And then her and my mom was arguing. So, let me wear that. <laughs> and then my mom would say, but you got that for me. No, mm. but, yeah, it was nice. It was really nice. It was a nice day. Um... I was going to go to the cemetery too, because you know my grandmother and your mom are in the same cemetery. I was going to go, but then so much happened, like it was just, so I didn't have really enough time to go. But I got on Facebook and one of my aunts and uncles, they had actually went to um, the cemetery. And they, of course, my aunts and them and uncles, they always go to the cemetery, put stuff on my grandmom's, what's name? And um, they put, they took flowers on a balloon, they released the balloon. And then uh, my aunt, like she always does, she always brings a cup of coffee and sits it on top of the headstone. Because my grandmother was a big coffee drinker. Mm -hmm. That's Morning, what I... noon, and night. I said, I, I told her, <laughs> when I come back, I'm going to bring her a Pepsi. Yeah, she was a coffee drinker. <laughs> Morning, noon, and at night before bed, she'd make a cup of coffee. <laughs> that was my grandmother. So anybody mm -hmm. who knows her, if you see coffee on top of her headstone, you know, yes, that was mm -hmm. her. That's all she did was drink coffee. Yes. So yeah, it was it was just a beautiful day. Yesterday was really a nice day because Saturday it rained. Mm -hmm. So for it to go from rainy Saturday to beautiful sunny hot Sunday. How bad did it rain on Saturday? It didn't rain bad, but it rained because we we fed the homeless up at K and A, my church, Saturday morning. Well, early Saturday afternoon we went up to K and A, and it was raining. Now it wasn't raining hard that you couldn't stand out in the rain, but it mm -hmm. was raining. Okay. Um, and certain points, actually, on my way to the church, it was raining hard. And then the rain slowed down, and then it stopped. And then when we got back, well, then when we got to K and A, it started raining again. Did but it yeah. wasn't raining hard. I didn't hard. even notice. Yeah, it did rain on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, like the early parts of Saturday, it rained. Okay. But um, to go from Saturday rain into Sunday, where it was just absolutely yeah. beautiful, it was just like, yeah, this is. Great. Yeah. It was great. It was, and today is nice too. Yeah, today's very nice. You know, it started out kind of chilly, but you know, as the day get long goes on, it gets. This is my first time leaving the house today. I stayed in the house all day, washed some clothes, what? and then I got in the shower. And when I got out of the shower, I had every intention on putting on some clothes and just. And then all of a sudden, I got out the shower and I got in the bed and I went back, back to, to sleep. sleep. You and know what? That always happens. <laughs> <day. laughs> I said, wait a minute. This wasn't the plan to get out. I mean, I literally got out the shower, yes. dry off, laid there, continued to dry. And then all of a sudden, I was up under the covers. I was supposed to go to work on Saturday. And I, you know, did the same thing. And I laid back down. And I have to say, go to sleep. Go like, to sleep, yeah. Rest. Right. That's okay. Yeah, it's it okay. It's okay. Kevin, I'm saying the same thing, too, because... <laughs> I'm like, wait, I gotta, I gotta do, and I'm like, no, Mikhail, you actually work two fucking jobs. Mm -hmm. Rest. <laughs> it's okay to rest. But the thing is, the rest. weekend go by so it fast. Does. Saturday does. was fast. Yesterday was even faster. And I didn't know, like, I was like, where did the time go? I watched the Sixers lose. I didn't realize that the time was moving like that. I was like, damn, it's six o'clock. Right. Like, I, I just couldn't believe it. It just went by, and then, you know, I've, of course. Watch the housewives last <laughs> night, and the they are giving me what I want. Okay, <laughs> with Beyonce saying, "Yummy, yummy, yummy, yum, yum, yum. stop it!" Hey, the girls go. Yes, bitch. <laughs> they are giving me what I want. So they they started back off at the um at the party from uh for uh, the for Russell's fortieth birthday party. Okay, so they started off there, and then Kenya and and uh. 
What's his name? Martel got into it a bit. So they're saying that he deleted the actual message that he sent Kenya. But Kenya was like, he's like, this was from two years ago. You said it was six months. She said, well, at least it was at least six months ago. Whatever the case may be, she remembered that he DM'd her. Mm -hmm. Okay? So she didn't lie about that. Right. And he talking about no matter what, if, uh, you don't know if I was trying to fuck you or whatever. You were. And, yeah, and then he trying to talk <laughs> about, uh, yeah, you, um, you already been, you are, who else did you ask? He's he basically trying to say the king was a hoe, saying that she was responding to other people who was all up in her DMs. And he has no proof of and, that. And that's even true. if that is the case, that's her pussy, okay? But he that's still hers. has no proof of that because no, she didn't answer his. No, no. That would have been the first one I answered. But right. still. I mean, I would have answered that. <laughs> yeah, in a heartbeat. So the heart would have been out of me. Well, don't let show me your dick. No. <laughs> that would have the first thing I said. I know it would have been. Oh my God. Let me see. Cause y'all got a nice body. But so some people make up for all that because they make the, they make up the body and then you look at nothing there. You know, I've seen it all in my lifetime. I've seen it all, I really have. Okay? So so he was trying to call her hoe. Then Kenya got up offended. And then she was like, she just cursed him out. Sheree, they was like, ooh, we didn't like, you know, they were trying to get Sheree to say, Sheree, you, you know, he was wrong for what he said, and mm -hmm. you just defending him. It's like, Sheree, I understand why everybody is saying, like, you know, because you come from an abused relationship, so you should know, but it's like Sheree is really blinded by the dick, mm -hmm. and you are too old for that. Whether <laughs> y'all playing or you're in a serious relationship, you are too over that. And when somebody pulls your car, you should recognize it instead of trying to defend it. It's like somebody beat you up. Yeah, but he do a lot of nice things for me. He do a lot of nice things for my kids. But this man is beating your ass. But he loves me. He do this. He do that. It's like, you know, you know how family members be when family members be trying to beat the boyfriend up and get you out of that situation and you go right back to it and then they be like, fuck it, it's just the way it is. That's how I feel like Sheree wants everybody to treat this situation. You you want to hear about your man cheating, but then when they come to you and tell you that he's cheating, then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, they're jealous. Oh, because where's Kenya man at? She ain't got no man. Like, what type of defense is that? She said, I wanted to come to you now before everybody else starts saying that Martel tried to talk to me. So she went and told you. Mm -hmm. Then when they told you that he'd been seeing other women in ATL, you got mad. Oh, now all of a sudden, my, my yetta got a voice. Now she never said two words to me, but now she wants to tell me about this. Everybody trying to see where your head is at because you the one ever sitting in Philly in the cold, okay? Nobody in Philly has never left me sitting there for two hours in the motherfucking cold. Not me either. Yeah, ain't no dick that bomb. I'm going to sit in the cold waiting for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll give you a good 10 minutes. 15 at the moment. Yes. Outside. <laughs> Not outside, though. And she got ordering wine. Right. Because like, I know she had to pay. <laughs> Looking stupid. Wine and, and the cold air. <laughs> you don't have to pay. Yeah, and then you still got this thing with candy. I don't know what it is. Like, like I think this some of this stuff had to be made up. Because <laughs> y'all just be going back and forth for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because candy this and candy that. And then she talking about when you go to Candy's restaurant, you don't know if you're going to yeah, get yeah. biscuits or bullets. Yeah. Well, that was a good one. That was a good one. I yeah. It. I was so mad they made Candy address that. You know, 